Can any one of you guess it? I do tree plantation, so who's my special friend? Trees, exactly. So trees are very important and I would like to bring them over here. Next slide, please. Yes. Now, if we look at them from our food, shelter, resources, almost for everything we depend on them. But then now, due to the overgrowing industries and consumer demand on a very historic rate, one thing that we will see over here is that sadly a lot of trees are getting cut. Do you know that every second one football field of forest is getting cut some, in some part of the world, which is very bad. But how are we going to solve it? Trees. And I think one line is enough for their introduction. That is, trees on their own are a laboratory. But then why do we exactly need trees? What are the main points of that laboratory? So there are six key pillars in that. Air, water, social impact, health, climate and biodiversity. So our first one is air. Well, all of, how many of you have been to a forest? Well, in fact, actually in Metapalium, uh, you are basically living in or rather around a forest. That's true. But then compared to a place like Chennai or some other metros like Delhi, Mumbai, it is much hotter over there. Or the air quality makes the difference because trees act like natural air filters and they cool the air and make it much better. So over here, if we look at it, then trees can reduce the, um, the particular matter there from about 7 to 24 percent around them. And not only that, they clean the air and cool all the heat trapping cities. Next is water. So trees are a major line of defense for floods. We are all aware about that. And their intricate root system is able to prevent us from any kind of landslide or soil erosions. And there is a very interesting fact that I came across that a single ordinary evergreen tree can uh, intercept up to 15,000 liters of water per year, which is huge. So that is there under water. Next, after that, we have biodiversity. So biodiversity is very important because we have air, there is water. And thirdly, biodiversity, the society and community near us. But then from the past 50 years, biodiversity is dropping dramatically. We've reduced, uh, habit, snuffed out habitats and reduced the population of wildlife by 60%. And the number of uh, lions in Africa has dropped by 65%. The number of individual flying species in Europe has dropped by 75%. And the number of bluefin tuna in the Pacific has dropped by 95%. These are some very big numbers and biodiversity is dropping catastrophically. But what is the solution to that? Can you all guess it? Trees. Again, trees are the heroes everywhere. So do you know that a forest is a home to 80% of terrestrial plants and animal species. And the rest of it is all the aerial and arboreal animals' habitats. And a tree on its own is a home for hundreds of species. So that's how trees help biodiversity.